twins go to McDonald's Every because day. I think we've gone four times already and we've only been here two. This is our second full day. Our first night in Hawaii and we're going to Kiang Seafood. We got a bunch of poke and also some of their oysters and a steak. Mm. Super good. Look at that. Made it to Leonard's for some malasadas. This one's the custard. The malasadas are full of flavor, have tons of filling in them, and they are just really, really delicious. A great start to the malasadas. Next up, Don Quixote, and there is so many options here. Mm, do we want one of those? Look at all this stuff that we just picked up from Don Quixote. For one of the first grocery store pokes we got, we were pleasantly surprised by how fresh everything was. Next up, we went to Off the Hook Poke with our good friend Charles. We got ours with ginger scallion sauce and it was so good. Guava chicken is next and they smoke everything with guava infused pieces of wood bringing a nice smoky flavor to the meat. It was delicious. Our favorite from Guava Smoked was the pieces of fish and the pork. Next, we went to the KCC Market where there were so many vendors. We got to try the Kona abalone. Next up, we went to Foodland where we got some to-go poke and also made some food at home. Sometimes it's just more simple to cook at home. Another night cooking, and this time we're cooking up some fish and eggplant. Can't forget some musubi, so we went to Musubi Cafe. We got an assortment of Spam Musubi, including unagi, tofu, bacon with avocado, and salmon roe. This was a perfect snack. Next, we went to Adela's Country Eatery, where they handcraft fresh, locally grown fruits, such as breadfruit and taro, and make it into noodles. This was a little heavy for our taste, but still really delicious. And now the luau. This was a very interesting experience for us. We were able to see the roasted pig, and then also have some fresh pineapple drinks to drink. It was a buffet style, and we were able to eat to our heart's content. Next, we went to Tanioka Seafood and Catering where they had an assortment of different Hawaiian classics for us to try. It was really good and they had so many varieties in here. This was our spread from Tanioka Seafood and Catering we had Kalua pork with assortments of poke, some tempura, and all in all, mm -hmm. it was a must try. Really good texture. Look at these cubes. Next up is the Dole Plantation. It was a very sweet treat, but so worth it in the heat. Next up is Giovanni's, a great place for shrimp. However, I still think that bowling crab is a little bit better. This is called the hot and spicy and it says no refunds. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it smells very strong. What do you mean it's not hot? What the heck? It's pretty spicy. Yeah. 
It reminds me of Tapatio, but a lot spicier. Next up, we have Onaya Ramen. The broth was really, really deep in flavor, and it was pretty good ramen for Hawaii. Next stop, we went to the farmer's market. This was my mom's favorite because there were so many fruits. We bought everything. Next up is Cafe 100, where we were able to try the local mogos and other things such as tripe. It was really good. We went to Pineapple Fresh Cuisine, where we were able to try items such as burgers, steaks, nachos, and so many more. Another popular malasada place is Tex Drive-In, where we were able to try three different types of malasadas. The next place we are going to is the Kawamoto store. This place does have a little bit of funny hours, so make sure you double check to see if they're opened. We got a lot of different foods and we were pretty happy with our selection. If we ate them immediately, it would have definitely been better tasting, but since we let it sit a little bit, it did sog out a bit. Next is the Poke Shack. They are a little popular, so expect a line, but it's so, so good. The next place we went to is Kalawa Super J's, where they sell their famous pork lao laos. One of our final nights and we went to Canoe House. This was a little bit more on the pricey side, but it was such a nice view and the food was so delicious. One of our final stops is going to be GJ's Holy Chicken. It was delicious and they had a variety of different types of meat including the roasted chicken seen here. Our final malasada destination is Manuela Malasada. Mmm, so fluffy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mmm. The filling's different. Mm -hmm. Very liquidy. That's good though. With the lihi moi is really good. Thanks for joining us on our food vlog in Hawaii. We had lots of fun eating and hope you enjoyed watching us.